everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to uh, show you how to change the, um, the controller board from the ordinary standard Chinese laser engravers. I'm talking about mainly the diode ones, but the K40's uh, laser, the, the CO2 lasers would be the, probably the same. This is the uh, original uh, controller board. As you can see, it's only two steppers. There is a small ICD unit underneath here and power plug and that's it. That, that's pretty much it. And it's only able to run the Aiken software uh, which I made for this. That this is pretty much crap. So this is the, the laser, or how it looks today uh, at least. I've extended the, the frame um, a little bit. And as you can see here, this is the uh, new controller board, which is a CNC shield version 4. There is a trick to this one. I'll show you in a second. This is the board, a small shield with the Arduino Nano on it and two steppers. And on this particular one, I have uh, done some changes. When I got this board, and uh, I, I'm, this was supposed to be used with the uh, Gerbil Garbel GRBL firmware. I'll just go for Gerbil. There is certain um, connections in these um, in the firmware, um, so that it knows what's the, the step direction and the. Uh, well, all the sorts and things that goes from the stepper and I'm not sure if it will read here probably not well maybe but anyway the the uh, top left one here is uh, actually direction and the next one is the stepper and when you put it down like this this top one will be direction and this uh, next one will be step but according to the drawings for the uh, gerbil uh, firmware, it's actually opposite. So someone made a huge mistake when they made this board. And the strange thing is that no one, no one explains this. So that's quite strange. Yeah. So I'll um, show you how to get the, the solution. Uh, gerbil, you know, a simple uh, firmware, and which is much basically two ways the, you can do it. Both the K40 original firmware and also the. Um, the, uh, especially for the ACAN and uh, ELEC maker or whatever they are all called. Uh, just go to Google, search for GRBL firmware. You'll find it here under on, on GitHub. Uh, it's open source, so it's it's okay. Go here for clone and download. Uh, it will basically just pack, you know, zip everything down. Uh, as it is uh, as of today download zip we'll just uh, make a folder for it and we'll just put it here save and we'll open that folder unzip the uh, GRBL master inside you will find uh, information and also the, uh, the firmware itself under the GRBL folder you will have it here. As I said, these steppers, uh, or not the steppers, but the uh, the uh, CNC shield uh, version 4 has a flaw in it. Um, especially since this was made for gerbil. Uh, it, it's not a flaw in that matter, uh, because it can be used anyway, but you, you need to... Uh, as I said, it's made for gerbil, and gerbil has uh, certain ports uh, on the uh, Arduino Nano um, that are supposed to uh, correspond to the correct uh, legs on the stepper drivers. So what you need to do, you need to go into the CPU map and you have to open this, uh, well depending on if you are using uh, Arduino Nano or uh, one of the bigger Arduino uh, Megas which is the 2560. But most of you will, uh, if you are using this board, most definitely will be the 328. You just open that one, <coughs> and you will see down here um, 
define steps and define direction. Define step pulses, define step direction output pins. As we see now, um, these are defined by three, two, three, four, and direction five, six, seven. If you pay close attention on the uh, board, you will see that uh, port two, three, four actually goes to the uh, uh, the Arduino uh, on the five, six, seven ports. So what you need to do here is just basically uh, go down here. Um, we'll put sorry. Uh, Five, six, seven. Then you go down here and you put in two, three, four. And then you save it. And when you do this, um, next time you when you when you run the Arduino, it will program your um, your CNC shield with the Arduino Nano uh, accordingly and everything is good uh, just remember if you download a new version of the durable uh, firmware you have to do this also the next time uh, just remember that or the, um, the steppers are not going anywhere so I'll quickly show you um, how to get it up and running on the board itself. I'm not going to do it, but I'm, I'm just going to quickly show you. So you start the Arduino. And here we go. And you need to go to Sketch, Include Library, as you see here, Add Zip Library. Then you go to where you downloaded. You have this Arduino garble file. You see that the, the zip file is still there. We don't mind the zip file. You still want to use the uh, the folder. So you go to Garble Master and then you just click on this GRBL. Don't double click. Just just click this one, and you will see <coughs> uh, an error here now for me, but because I already done this, a library named GRBL already exists. That's fine you won't get that then you go to file and you go to examples and you go all the way mostly all the way to the bottom you will have grbl here and uh, there's two of them uh, never mind the, this last one just grbl upload and it will open a new window and you will see here this is all that's supposed to be here because it will it will fetch the other files that are already in the uh, in the uh, directory, like the one you just altered, and that's it. Then you need to go here to tools. You have to uh, pick whatever Arduino you have, most likely in the Nano. But that's okay. Then you and it's a three two eight P. The uh, port will be whatever depending on if it's Windows or uh, uh, Linux or Mac uh, dev um, TTI uh, SO S0 uh, will be the port here um, but it might be USB or uh, sorry com whatever com port you just need to figure out which one it is uh, AVR ISP MK2 and that's it uh, you can verify it um, by clicking this if you want to check if everything is okay before you uh, you burn it to or uh, flash it to the, the uh, Arduino or you just go for this upload button once it's uploaded it will say um, upload confirmed uh, if everything is alright um, and you should be good to go So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, anything, just uh, put it down in, in below. I'll put the link for the CNC shield in the description. I'll probably put up the link for the GRBL uh, GitHub site, site as well. Thanks.